Hi everyone. A question we hear a lot is, which developer should I use when I color? Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Color, and today the doctor is in, and the doctor is going to explain to you which developer you're going to use to totally succeed in your coloring. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. The rules are fairly simple. Uh, they're written down here on this table. You can just note them down and literally write them in your brain. For level on level coloring and for toning down, use Tenfold. For one to two levels lift, you need to use a, open the cuticle a little bit more, 20 volt. For two to three levels lift, use 30 volt because you need to open the cuticle more. For more than three levels lift and use a colorist, you're gonna, you know, you must, you must judge that. You must assess correctly what color, what level your client is at today and what level you want to take her to. So if, for example, she's six dark blonde and you want to take her to level 10, that's four levels. That's more than three levels lift. You can't do it with color alone. You need to use bleach first and then color. So it's like a, a double process blonding, if you like. So more than three levels lift, use bleach first and color. For gray hair coverage, we always recommend 20 vol. And I know there are some, there's some people out there who say 10 vol sometimes is what they're taught in cosmetology school, but gray hair, gray hair is rather resistant, uh, resistance to color. It can be very, very tough to color gray and and mask it properly. And 20 vol means you open the cuticle more, you deposit more color in, and you have a better chance of covering the gray properly and getting a nice color vibrancy at the end, okay? For high lift colors, so you've decided not to use bleach and color, you wanna go one step high lift, it can be done. Um, you would use 30 volt, that's how they're made. And for toners, if you're going for a no lift toner, you use 10 volt. And if you're going for a lifting toner where you've still got yellow in the hair, you wanna lift up the yellow, use 20 volt. So for example, for ugly duckling toners, use 10 volt for the no lift toners and 20 volt for the intense toners. Now, when people um, ask us about which developer should I use, there's sometimes two questions lurking behind. One question is, hmm, what would happen if I use more developer than the recommended mix? Would I be able to get better lift? And the other question is, hmm, what would happen if I use a stronger developer than is recommended? Would that allow me to get a better lift? Now you can see what's going on here. Generally speaking, behind these two questions, there's this going on. There's, I don't want to bleach. Is there any other way I can get the lift? Is there any other way I can trick the system? And the answer, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, is no. Is no. The, the color and the developer is like a perfect married couple. They go together. Don't screw that up. Don't change the mix. There's a chemical formulation uh, for them to work perfectly. So please, you need to respect the mix. And using a stronger developer, yes, you might lift up a little bit, but you won't get a nice color result because you're screwing up the, the recommended color and developer formulation again, and you'll tend to get lift, but you'll get color which is flatter, thinner, less attractive, and one which fades quicker. So please respect the developer proportions and the developer strengths, which I've given here, don't try and trick the system. And if it's more than three levels lift, if you're trying to go from dark blonde to level 10, use bleach first, then color, and you'll be in a great place. Okay, thanks.